Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. It is that time of the week again for reflecting on the past week and sharing my weight loss, res well, sharing my weigh in results for the week. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Lisa. I am sharing my weight loss journey with you here over on my YouTube channel. If you are on a journey too, I'd really appreciate it if you would stick around and subscribe or just give this video a thumbs up or both, even better, uh, would mean the world to me. So let's get into it. So last week has been a bit of a, um, let's say, disaster. The week before I had my birthday and I didn't have anything that I shouldn't have. I kept within my calories all week long. I did absolutely brilliant. I had made two litre of water every day, my five a day every day. And I only lost 0 0.4 of a pound and I was really, really pissed off about it. I'm not going to even sugarcoat it. I wasn't very happy. <laughs> so coming into the week, I was like, you know what? Just suck it up. We'll just carry on. And hopefully uh, with me lowering my calories a little bit. Because I should have said at the beginning, for those of you that haven't watched before, I am doing a new check. So calorie deficit calorie counting. I lowered my calories a little bit because I thought I've lost two stone now, two stone three. Um, maybe I just need to just tweak them a little bit and I did need to tweak them a little bit. So I recalculated them to what they should be for my weight now. So on Monday I was a little bit peed but I didn't do too bad until the evening come. And when I come home from school she'd baked cheese and onion rolls and I thought, do you know what? I'll just have one. And it was so nice. So I had two more. So I'd had three in total. Then thought, oh, I've screwed this up. So I texted Dan and I said, should we have a chippy tea tonight? And he said, yeah, of course, because he's not going to pass up a chippy tea. So I've been worse than I thought this week then because I'd forgot about Monday. <laughs> Oh dear. So we had a chippy tea. I had a kebab. I had a mixed kebab and I enjoyed it. And I went to bed. I woke up on Tuesday. You know what? Draw a line. Forget about it. Let's just start again today. And Tuesday and Wednesday, I was all good. I worked out because I didn't face the music on the Monday about the takeaway and the cheese and onion pasties. So on Tuesday, I decided to, to track the kebabs, kebabs, kebab, and it wasn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. And I actually tracked it twice because I had a mixed kebab and there was nothing for a mixed kebab. There was either a chicken, a chicken kebab or a doner kebab. So I put them both on and I thought, well, I know I've overestimated there because there's two pit of breads in there for one. So that's, that's like 170 odd calories that I've overestimated it by. So I'd rather overestimate than underestimate. I then created a recipe because Maddie baked these pasties at school. So I'd got the recipe at home. So I actually uh, created a recipe and tracked everything. And they were like 500 calories each and I had add three. And I'm like, oh my I can't believe how high they were. That's just crazy high. Because if you go to a shop and look at a normal cottage, a normal like cheese and onion pasty, like a cheese and onion roll, because that's all it were, they're, they're about 200, maybe 300 calories. I didn't expect 500 calories each. So I'm like, right, if I hadn't have lowered my calories this week, that would count for them. So if I just make sure I stay within my calories for the rest of the week, then we'll be fine. It's just, it'll just be like, I haven't lowered my calories this week. I'll lower them next week. So plain sailing all the way through Tuesday, all the way through Wednesday. Fine. Got up on Thursday morning. I got up and I had my normal breakfast. Fruit and fibre with a little bit of milk and some fruit. And I thought, you know what? Today's going to be fine as well. So it was our wedding anniversary on Thursday as well. That is important to add. And we went to Crystal Peaks to meet Dan's mum. We had been in the Vodafone shop for literally hours. And I kept saying to Dan, I'm hungry. 
I'd only had that little poxy bowl of fruit and fibre and I normally go home after the score and if I want a snack I can have one or I'm not normally that far away from home and I thought oh, do you know what so I turned around to Dan when we'd come out of the shop I went you know what since it's his anniversary she would go out for dinner and he was like yeah all right then Dan and Maddie went off to buy me a Mother's Day present um, and me and Dan's mum went for a look around the shops and there was a sweet stall and I thought oh you know what I'll buy Dan some sweets because he loves sweets I'll buy Dan some sweets for his anniversary uh, just as a little gift uh, and they'd got some chocolate Sheffield Wednesday chocolate and all and he loves Sheffield Wednesday so I thought I'll buy him that as well it's a lovely little treat and then I started looking at the forge and I'm like damn I'm starving I want some fudge. I thought, I'm going out for my dinner anyway, so you know what, I'm just going to have some fudge. So I bought some salted caramel fudge and I thought, I'll share it with Maddie. Well, before she'd come back, I'd caned the lot. And, and I'd, just, I'd just eaten this whole packet of fudge. And I'd forgot about the fudge as well until I took the packet out of my coat pocket this morning. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I had that and all. So we went, we dropped Dan's mum off and we went for his lunch. And we went to a, is it a Hungry Horse pub? Well, when we used to go there in the past, I used to have this smothered chicken and it was really, really nice. Chicken New Yorker, I think it's called. Uh, I'm going to insert a clip of said offending meal here. So, I'd had this smothered chicken. I was looking at the menu and there were things on there that I could have picked for about six, five, six hundred calories and I'd been fine. But I was, it was my anniversary. I deprived myself on my birthday. I was having that New York chicken and <laughs> nothing was going to stop me. So that is what I did. We then got home and I didn't have, I don't recall having, oh I did. So I got home and I thought well I've messed this up. I had to nip to the shop, I saw cheese and onion crisps. I was like right I'm going to have a cheese and crisp onion sandwich for my did it for my tea tonight because I really like cheese and onion sandwich crisp sandwiches and I haven't had one for so long I haven't had bread <laughs> proper bread or anything for so long I'm having one and I don't care and I'll just I'm just gonna write this week off so I said to Dan I'm gonna write this week off and I am just going to I'm not gonna go over the top but I'm gonna have if I fancy it I'm gonna have it I think um, and I said I think because I was still trying to talk myself out of it which I should have done, but I didn't. So we, I am a cheese and crisp onion, a cheese and onion crisp sandwich. Cheese and cheese and onion crisp sandwich. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> for my dinner. For no, I didn't have it for my dinner, I had it for my tea, oh my God. So I had my cheese and cheese and onion crisp sandwich for my tea and enjoyed it. And I had no water this day either. And I was starting with an headache. And I'm thinking, I'm sure it's because I ain't had no water, but I'm looking forward to sleeping a full night without having to get up five times for a week because I ain't drank a lot. So I'm like, mm, I'll just not bother today. Friday morning came, kids had gone back to school. I sat on the sofa and I said to Dan, should we go out for breakfast today? We can use this anniversary money that my nana had given us. And we, should, we could go out and have breakfast because we haven't got to do anything together, just me and you. And you were like, yeah, all right, then we'll, we'll go out for breakfast. So we went to the Lock Keepers, which is a brewer's fair for the all-you-can-eat breakfast. <laughs> Insert clip. <laughs> so I had that as well. I can't even remember what I had for the rest of the day on Friday. But oh, what did I have for the rest of the day on Friday? Oh, I know what I had on Friday evening. Uh, I bought a seafood salad from the fish stall on the market. So I had that and I think I had some fruit and I had a couple of the low calorie cupcakes because they were going out of date and I didn't want to chuck them away. I wanted to, to make sure that I ate them. So Friday night wasn't too bad. On Saturday, I had tuna salad pita breads for, for lunch. And cheese on toast for breakfast. Cheese on toast for breakfast. I thought, I love cheese on toast. I'm having cheese on toast before it's too late and I'm back on it and I can't have cheese on toast again. <laughs> All the time, knowing that if I want cheese on toast while I'm in calorie deficit, I can have cheese on toast. I've just got to get out it. Um, so I had that. 
uh, tuna salad in pita breads for my lunch because I wouldn't have that either when I'm calorie counting because it's quite high even though it's tuna salad in a pita bread it's higher than you think so I had that and then on pizza night we always have pizza night on a Saturday so instead of picking the normal pizza that I'd have I'd either have a um, Hawaiian a normal Hawaiian because they're not overly bad or I'd have one of the Sainsbury's ones the you know the low calorie ones but I didn't I had a meat feast I didn't have I, I did have low fat mayonnaise to dip it in though um and I think I had something else for pudding oh I had two of the Hagen dazs mini pots because I thought I'll try them while I can try <laughs> try both vial don't bother <laughs> and they're really not very nice at all and then on Sunday we nipped to Sainsbury's in the morning Mother's Day Sunday so it's like it's Mother's Day I've got to have what I want on Mother's Day because it's a day for me <laughs> so we went to Sainsbury's to get a few bits so I wanted to get some fruit for this morning because I knew I was going back I know I was back to my willpower self-motivated I can do it attitude this morning and I knew I got to be so I thought well I'll have to have something nice for my dinner today so I had two minced beef and onion pasties with gravy and mint sauce on for my lunch followed by clotted cream rice pudding oh my god I should have put a ton on shouldn't I <laughs> from what I've eaten I didn't realise how bad it were until I sat down to to start talking about it um, and then I texted Anna and I said, you know, for tea tonight, because I'm back on it strict from tomorrow, can we have shepherd's pie? Do you mind? Because he's not really that bothered about it. And they were like, no, no, we'll have shepherd's pie. That's fine. So I had a massive portion of shepherd's pie. And I know from last time I had that and I counted it, it's about 1,500 calories. So it was big. And then for supper last night, did I have supper last night? No, I was too full. I was too... I felt sort of like food coma and really I'm glad I didn't because there's nothing worse than feeling over full is there. So as you can tell I completely, utterly and totally screwed last week up and it was all because I was in the mindset that I deprived myself on my birthday and I wasn't going to deprive myself on my anniversary of Mother's Day basically and that I was disappointed because I'd not lost the weight that I'd wanted to lose the previous week so I get on the scales this morning and I have gained obviously I've gained because I mean I've just told you what I've all what I've had for the whole week but it wasn't as bad as I expected I've put on 2.3 pound which brings my total weight loss to two stone point zero uh, zero point seven so I am a little bit disappointed, but I'm glad it didn't take me off of the two stone mark, if you know what I mean. But I'm back on it this morning and I've decided that I'm just going to knuckle down and do it because I can't afford to have a week like that again. At least not for another three months. <laughs> if, I have a, if I have a week like that once every every three months then fair dues and i'm never going to say i'm never going to eat anything again because that's going to be a total bare face lie but i'm back focused again now and i'm going to do what i eat in a day every day this week that two pound will come back off next week plus hopefully now my calories are a little lower hopefully another two as well so we can get back on track and back to feeling better because i know in myself that I've I've not been eating right because my skin's suffering. I've I've broke out in a couple of spots and I don't really get spots. And isn't it funny that you lose weight and you can't tell? Your clothes still fit, you don't look no different, but you put two pound on and you can tell. Last night I laid in bed, I'm like, I can feel it. I can feel it here. I, that's exactly where it's gone on. It's gone on to me tummy. I can feel it. I can feel what I've, whatever I've put on. I can feel it. <laughs> and I'm right. But isn't it funny that you can feel it go on, but you can't feel it come off? It is what it is. So that's wrapping up this week's video. A little bit more positive than last week, but a total fail <laughs> nonetheless. 
thank you so much for joining me do you ever have weeks like this and do you find it easy to get back on the wagon answer me that in the comments please and if you wouldn't mind subscribing that would be awesome and i will see you quite regularly this week for what i eat in the days what i eat in the day videos because uh, i'm going to post them to keep myself accountable and yes i will see you soon thank you so much for your ongoing support so far and i'll see you in the next one